Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to run YOLO v7 for object tracking. The object tracking is achieved with the help of two models. One is object detector, which is YOLO v7 in our case. And the other one is the tracker, which will be sort in this video. We have options of other trackers as well, which we may cover in one of our future tutorials. Let's get started with today's video. I would recommend to install Git for your operating system so that we can clone GitHub repositories directly from command prompt. After installing Git, go to official YOLO v7 repository and copy this Git link. In Anaconda prompt or terminal on Linux, type command git clone and then paste the link, hit enter and it will clone the repository on your local hard drive. After cloning is done, go to official YOLO v7 repository, scroll down and download any YOLO v7 variant. I will go with YOLO v7 base variant download the file and save it in the cloned yolov7 repository while the file is being downloaded go to my yolov7 object tracking repository link would be in the description below before we move forward i would like to give credit to these repositories on which my code is based although i have made all of the above modifications copy the link of this repository and in anaconda prompt issue the command git clone and paste this link hit enter and wait for the repository to get cloned. Once done, go to this newly cloned repository and copy detect or track.py requirements.txt requirements underscore gpu.txt sort.py and street.mp4 files from here. Then go to the YOLO v7 repository and paste here. Replace the files if prompted. Now we are all set to create environment to run object tracking. In Anaconda prompt, Let's move to YOLO v7 directory by command cd YOLO v7 and then issue command conda create minus n YOLO v7 underscore tracking and python equals 3.9. Hit enter, press y, hit enter again. Once done, activate the environment by command conda activate YOLO v7 underscore tracking. Now we need to install libraries in this environment, which is really easy. Just issue the command pip install minus r requirements.txt if you plan to run the object tracking on cpu only you are all set otherwise issue another command pip install minus r requirements underscore gpu.txt this will install pytorch with cuda support you can verify if cuda is available for pytorch let's run python then import torch and torch.cuda.is underscore available if it prints true, it means you would be using GPU while running object tracking. Detect or track.py file can be used for both object detection and object tracking. Let me first show you how to run object detection using this code. Let's issue the command python detect underscore or underscore track.py minus minus weights yolo v7.pt minus minus no dash trace minus minus view dash img minus minus no save minus minus source street dot mp4 it's running object detection just like we covered in our official yolo v7 tutorial but it has some more options you can show fps if we add another flag at the end of the command minus minus show dash fps you can see it's giving us 10 to 14 fps if you are not happy with the colors assigned to each class you can change that by adding another argument minus minus seed let's say two you can see now different color is assigned to each class as compared to our previous run you can keep on changing that to get a new color to run tracking you just need to add another flag minus minus track at the end of the command you can see that each bounding box has an id now which is the instance tracking id assigned by the sort tracker but this is tracking all 80 classes on which yolo v7 was trained what if you would like to track any specific class? Well, you can easily do that with minus minus classes argument. You can track class 0 or 0 and 1, but how to know which class label corresponds to 0 or 1? If you go to the data folder and open coco.yml file, you can see the names of all 80 classes. So let's say you want to track person, its index is 0. And if you want to track bicycle, its index is 1 and so on. So to track person and bicycle, we need to mention zero and one here. 
if we hit enter we can see that only person and bicycle is being tracked the bench over here and this object over here are not being tracked if you want to show the track you can add another flag minus minus show dash track this will print the tracking path of each object you can see that the path color matches the object color so you know which object passed through this path but if you would like a different color for each track you can add another flag minus minus unique dash track dash color and if we run this we can see that each track has its own unique color you can say it's instance tracking in a sense now if you do not want bounding boxes around the objects you can add another flag minus minus no b box at the end of this command and you can see that this time there is no bounding box around the object similarly you can also add minus minus no label and now only track will be shown without any label or bounding boxes now what if you want to save the output let me first remove no b box no label and unique color flags just remove minus minus no save flag and if we execute this command the output will be saved let's go to runs and then detect exp we can see that the output file is here and if you want a bigger font size or a thicker track you can also change that by flag minus minus thickness you can select three or five let's go with three and you can see this time the font size and the tracking line size is bigger so with that i think i am done if you have learned something of value today hit like and subscribe to the channel consider a support on the patreon to help the channel out i will see you next time